Today we're going to take a look at how to think about the differences between TypeScript unions and intersections. Now this is something that actually took me quite a long time to figure out. So I hope that by watching this video, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and pain when you're writing TypeScript and using unions and intersections. Let's start with TypeScript unions. Here we've got a couple of types, has name and has age, pretty basic. And then we create a union. So we do has name, pipe has age. Now this pipe character that we use to define a union typically means or. So when I read has name or has age, what I used to think about was it seems like this should be something that has a name or something that has an age. And of course that is true. So we can see that both A and B both match has name or has age. One has a name, one has an age. They both are has name or has age. Now that all makes sense, but what confused me a lot when I initially started using unions was that this also matches our type. C is has name or has age, but it has both the name and the age. And it feels like, well, we were saying has name or has age, not and. And so why does this work? Well, the thing that I learned about unions is that a union is not an exclusive or. It's just a regular or. We can think about C here as being a value that has a name, or we could think about it as a value that has an age. But either way, it matches has name or has age. So when you're using a union type, don't be surprised if you can assign a value that seems to be broader than what you wanted. Maybe what you're looking for is an exclusive or, and there are a lot of great type utilities out there that let you do an exclusive or, but the union here is not one of them. So that's the one thing I learned about unions that helped me understand their usage much better. But now let's talk about intersections. So intersections are probably a little less common, or maybe that's just my code, but this is what an intersection looks like. So we have has name and has age. We use the ampersand here. Now, since this is called an intersection, my initial expectations here were that we would only see any fields that are shared between the types that we're intersecting. So in the case of has name and has age, when you intersect those types, what you would expect is only to see the fields that are common between name and age. And in this case, there are no fields in common between has name and has age. So you might expect has name and age to equal never. However, the truth is it doesn't actually equal a never type. We can assign values to it. D here is of type has name and age. We get a new type that is not actually the intersection of the fields of has name and has age. It seems to be a combination or dare I say union of has name and has age, but it's not a union, it's an intersection. So what's going on here? The light bulb moment for me was realizing that what is intersecting here is not the fields of the type, but it's actually the values that can be assigned to this type. There's a great blog post written by Ivan O, and I'll link it down below, but in that he talks about how to think about TypeScript types in terms of mathematical sets. And that mental model really made this make a lot more sense for me. So in this image, you can see that we have some group of values that we can assign to has name, and in another group of values that we can assign to has age. Now the union of those two sets is the larger group. It's the area covered by both of those sets. And as you can see in this example, there's two values that can be assigned to has name, and there's two values that could be assigned to has age, but there's three values that can be assigned to has name or age. Has name or age is a union and therefore it is a broader type. It accepts a larger set of values. Now let's look at a similar image for intersections. Again, we have has name and has age. Both of them can accept two of these values, but notice that there's only one value in has name and age. It's not about the number of fields. It's actually about the number of values that could be assigned to this. And it's a much smaller set. An intersection gives you a smaller set of values that can be assigned to our new type. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. It was a quick breakdown of unions and intersections and the mental model that has helped me use and understand both of those things better. I want to give a shout out to Andy L who started a conversation about this topic in the comments of one of my recent videos. And that conversation is what inspired me to make this video. If you have ideas or questions about TypeScript or other topics, be sure to leave a comment and I will definitely read that. And while you're down there, you may as well like and subscribe as well, right? Anyway, thanks so much for watching this and I'll see you in the next one.